Qatar and the Taliban take on education and humanitarian issues at meetings in Doha. More tourists means more hotel rooms and experts expect 40,000 rooms by the end of the year. Could technology be beneficial inside classrooms? Stay tuned to find out. And finally, El Sad Edge is closer to the King Salman Club Cup quarterfinals. Hi, I'm Minna and this is The Roundup. Here are the top stories making headlines of Qatar today. Qatari officials have engaged in talks with Taliban in Doha, taking on the most pressing issues, including economy and education. The latest meeting between officials on Wednesday comes amid growing concerns about the rights of Afghan women and girls in Afghanistan. A foreign ministry statement confirmed that the two sides discuss corporations in the development field, especially with relations to the sector of health, education and economic empowerment of individuals. It comes after Taliban and US officials held the first face-to-face -face meetings in Doha in months. Now, a new report by Cushman and Wakefield has offered glimpses of hope to Qatar hotel industry. New statistics show an unprecedented surge in the industry with an increase of over 8,000 rooms in the last 18 months. The growth has brought the total supply of hotel rooms in the country to over 38,000. Now the global real estate services firm anticipates this figure to surpass the 40,000 mark by the end of the year. And as technology takes over classrooms around the world, research suggests this may not be a good idea. A new report by UNESCO has revealed that there is a critical shortage of appropriate governance and regulation of technology in the field of education. With the lack of regulations, proximity to a mobile device was found to have a negative impact on learning in 14 countries. And in sports, football powerhouse is said emerged victorious after a late-minute goal against El Ahli Tripoli. The 1-0 score secured their qualification for the King Salman Club Cup quarterfinals. The Qatari team now leads Group B of the tournament ahead of football heavyweight. Thanks for watching, but if you want to know more, make sure to head over to our website, dohanews.com.